Hey there, YouTube. This is SGM4306. I have another package. This one is super uber dense. I was um, talking with my friend uh, Patrick, and he has a channel. I'll link it down below. And um, he does a lot of really cool stuff with like lasers, optics, um, you know, electromagnetics, that kind of stuff. And um, he said that he had some goodies for me. And uh, so I sent him some goodies of my own, and um, he sent this package over. So without further ado, let's just get into this. Um, try to figure out the safest way of opening this. There we go. So, wow. I know some of what's in here, and the rest I have no idea. So we'll take a look. So yeah, the first thing is a, um, a laser and a associated driver. Uh, it just runs off of 120 volts AC. This is going to be the uh, constant current driver so it doesn't burn out. And this looks like a pretty beefy uh, laser module. It has the heat sink, the uh, lens on the front, and the diode would be sitting probably somewhere underneath this uh, brass slug there. And um, it says 30 MW. That can't be megawatts. <laughs> um, just judging by kind of the size of this, probably something like, I don't know, a hundred, a couple hundred uh, milliwatts. Um, it has a model number here. I'll have to look that up to f uh, figure out exactly um, what the specifications are, but that'll be really cool. And uh, let's see. So LD, so obviously laser diode. Uh, M, and it has a plus and a ground. Um, I have to figure out. There is a board number here. I don't know what that would be. Modulation input? That'd be really cool, so I can actually pulse this on and off. Uh, if not, easy enough to modify. But yeah, we'll uh, take a look at this and fire this up in another video. And we have... Ooh, another laser. <laughs> I need to play with lasers more. So, uh, we have... This one's very tiny, the module, the, uh, the actual driver board itself. And... Uh, let me just get this out of the way. Um, input. And uh, there are a couple of plugs, actually. They're uh, unpopulated. Hell, to figure out what exactly they are for. But yeah, this is the module itself. This looks pretty beefy, too. QC pass. That's how you know it's good. Um, I'm guessing this is a red laser by the red laser on there. Uh, yeah, and this one is 300 milliwatts, so that's going to be fun. Ooh, I'm going to have to fire these up. Uh, and before I get too into it, let's see. We have a bunch of other stuff. Okay, let's uh, unpack this one by one. Okay, this looks like, um, very similar to the one that I have, um, the, it's a, uh, Galvo controller, basically. Uh, different trim pots at the bottom for adjusting, um, the gains for the compensator, so it's basically a closed-loop system, so that you set an angle and the motor is supposed to zone in onto that, uh, with minimal latency. So, yeah, um, this is going to be a laser Galvo driver. That's gonna be fun. So you kind of might know what is in here. I believe there is, yep, looks like there's another one of those. So we have two. Now, why do you need uh, two drivers? Let's see if I can actually find them first. Okay, so we have um, the mounts for Galvos. We're getting closer. So, um, I believe, yeah, you just, uh, stick the Galvo through and you tighten down a, uh, hex nut on it to clamp down on the body. So, we have two mounts. Ooh, okay, I'm seeing some coils and stuff. Ah, no, copper tape. Ooh, what are these? Ah, yeah, he told me about these. These are uh, micro LCD displays, and they're carefully type taped up. I'm not going to remove them right now and get my fingerprints all over them. But they're tiny little, like, half-inch LCDs. They used to use these for, like, camcorders and stuff. So he gave me a few of these to play around with. We're going to have to look up data sheets for these and uh, figure out if I can program a driver circuitry. Can make some tiny little displays. I don't know, a little night vision headset sort of thing going on. Like a digital night vision, obviously. 
That will be cool. So definitely play around with those. And untested, uh, inconsistent meter readings. So carefully open this. There we go. These are the Galvos we were looking for. Ooh, nice. You can see the little end stops. That's interesting. And little rubber bits. I never actually looked very closely at uh, Galvo. But yeah, to dampen it so that when it hits the end stop, it, it won't damage the rotor or the mirror or anything. But yeah, beautiful. Two of these guys. And um, we're going to have to debug because uh, these are untested slash inconsistent meter reading. So we're going to grab a meter and uh, measure these. Probably all the laser stuff, the Galvos and the controllers and all that, I'll do in a uh, their own dedicated videos. I'm going to have to give them more time than just a quick unboxing video for that. So that is awesome. Ooh. Okay, so we have another one. Let's see. We have a couple more stuff, actually. I think I opened the... Uh, <laughs> The bag upside down. Yeah, the letter was at the bottom. It should have been at the top. I opened upside down so I wouldn't reveal our uh, shipping addresses. <laughs> so, um, so Patrick writes, SGM 4306. So he writes, I consider putting flames on the box to make it look like it was shipping faster, uh, but the post office might be alarmed. Yeah, they probably would. <laughs> um... In the box is magic bits from a far off land. I like magic bits and I like far off lands. There are a few good things that are included, which uh, falls into the useless toys bin for me. These are these are like odd, just fascinating trinkets to me. So one man's uh, useless bin is is my uh, my candy shop basically. Uh, the rest is uh, not only broken, but also um, gray beard tech. Ah, I see. Yeah, I, I need to grow out my beard a bit uh, before I get to that level, but uh, we'll try tinkering with it. Um, comes from authentic Murphy. Murphy always gets you, right? <laughs> uh, that That's sort of an inside joke. His, uh, his last name is Murphy, so that's, that's the pun. Um... <laughs> So yeah, he figures that it should make it three times more fun. Oh, you know me, I'm I'm always disappointed when I buy something that I think is broken that ends up working. That's the cheapest cop out it feels like to me. So getting known broken stuff is awesome. So great channel you have going on. Thank you, man. That means a lot to me. Diversity and real world humor make uh, for a relatable viewing and uh, he enjoys it greatly. Sorry if I'm off screen. I'm Kind of reading over my camera at the same time. Keep on making content. Passing along knowledge is one of the most uh, powerful things you can do. I 100% agree. Yeah, Wizard Murphy. <laughs> I'm going to start calling him that. That was an awesome letter. I'm sorry I uh, opened the, um, the box upside down and I did not read the letter before opening all this. Okay, so we have um, more Galvos, it looks like. Oh, he wrote a lot on this. Um, so sensor, sensor LED ground. Oh, these are the pinouts. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful when I open this not to destroy that. Um, well, I always have it on film, but uh, yeah. So possibly these Galvos have bad sensors. Uh, so yeah, we have plenty of, of spare Galvos now. We can um, scrap them for sensors and LEDs and whatnot if they have problems. But we'll go through and measure and debug all this. Uh, let's see. Uh, glued ring on the front uh, from a repair attempt. Okay. Yeah, there we go. These are a different style. That's interesting. Yeah, they're completely different looking uh, Galvos. This one has a nice connector on that. I like that. Um, these are definitely a bit smaller, you can see. Uh, this has something bad. Magnets. Oh yeah, he was telling me some of them. Uh, they got so hot that the um, the magnetic rotor actually demagnetized, which is absolutely insane. So we're gonna this one. We're actually gonna be able to completely pull apart because you can't fix that, unfortunately. So this will be a complete tear down. Uh, the ones that just have like sensor damage and whatnot, I'm not gonna destroy and open them. But yeah, 
We're going to take a look at these. Just going to keep them safely in their little baggie with the information about what's wrong with them. Okay, let's see. Ooh, foam. Uh, glass. Dichroic glass. Uh, usable for A and B mixing, so... Oh, look at that. That's cool. I'm only going to touch it by the edges uh, so I don't get my dirty fingerprints all over it. But yeah, you can see uh, certain wavelengths of light, depending on the angle, will pass. So, yeah, and the other side is yellow. Uh, but, yeah, that's wild. And he has a, another piece underneath that's, like, that's a pretty color. That's, like, an orangish yellow, depending on the angle. Let's see if I can carefully lift the veil on this. So it's like gold on the one side, sort of. Yeah, it depends on the angle. It looks kind of blue sometimes. That's cool. I'm going to have to play around with these. Yeah, and this one I actually opened up nice enough I can close it. Keep that safe. Then we have LED and Galvo sen Oh, IR LED and Galvo sensors. So these are spare sensors he sent me. So if I need to replace them... Um, I will be able to, and these, this is just like a little LED and like a photo diode or something like that. So, uh, I'm not going to bother opening this up right now. Here we have mirrors. Okay. Yeah. These are for the, um, the end of the Galvos. So all the Galvos, um, the mirrors would just sit on this little portion here that, that swivels back and forth. So you just usually glue them on. So these are just going to be, I believe he said he took a hard drive and he, um, broke off little pieces and cut them to size or something like that. So yeah, um, these are just going to be little pieces of mirror. <laughs> we have another, um, this looks like it has both X and Y uh, for uh, Galvo drivers. It has a nice little aluminum uh, base there. Uh, we'll definitely play around with this. I have so many different toys to play around with. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Between this and um, the uh, the PS3s that I received recently and the Discman to repair, I have so much stuff to play around with. Uh, these look like uh, 220 package um, devices, except for there's one with uh, a couple leads. So yeah, those are the extra uh, of these devices that are mounted to the heatsink. I'm guessing uh, the ones with five leads are probably like op amps of some sort, and the three leaded ones are probably FETs that actually drive the coils. Uh, so yeah, definitely kudos on that. So I have some spares. And last but not least, we have another power supply. Looks like ACN. And I'm guessing this is to power um, one of the Galvo drivers. Um, yeah. It's just going to be a switching supply. Um Probably dual polarity, so like plus minus 12 or 15 volts to drive them. So definitely cool. Definitely put that to use. And so that concludes. Let me get like everything in shot. Wow, I, I can't believe this much fit in that small of a box. I mean, it's not even that large of a box. And it was... I mean, the thing weighed a ton. Oops. Thing weighed a ton compared to uh, what it looked like it would. And last but not least, get these lasers all in here. Look at that. That's absolutely insane. I don't know what to say, Patrick. Um, this will all definitely go to good use. It's going to take me a little while to uh, play around. I'm not too um, knowledgeable about laser stuff, so I think I want to do some reading first. Um, make sure I don't blow up anything any more than it, you know, it already is. Uh, so I can figure out how to repair the Galvos, um, how to safely, you know, power up these boards without, uh, letting out the magic smoke. Cause you know, Murphy will always get you that wizard Murphy. So anyway, super huge thanks to Patrick for sending all this in. I'll, uh, link his, uh, YouTube channel down below. He's done some really cool videos about, uh, DIY projects related with like lasers and, and all that cool stuff. He's even done a video on uh, night vision that he repaired recently that I really like. So I suggest you guys check his channel out. Uh, he makes some really cool stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Hopefully uh, get some of this up and running and uh, tinkering in the next one. I'll see you then.
Bye.